everyone. So, I just finished doing a, uh, hi, uh, a D-shed on a Bernese Mountain Dog Collie Cross. Anyway, uh, she's shedding quite hard, so if you see any <laughs> hair flying around, don't panic. Um, so today's video is going to be something that everyone on YouTube seems to beat around the bush or not give a straight answer about, and that is, why do dogs shed? Now, the obvious um, and go-to reason why people people put the two together is, is that dogs shed um, to to grow in new fur, which is all fine and dandy, but that doesn't really tell us why they shed aside from uh, aside from that. So the number one cause of excessive shedding in dogs is um, because their body doesn't register the change in environment. So most dogs who live indoors, um, people will find that they shed and shed and shed, and there doesn't seem to be um, an ending to the shedding because the body doesn't understand that um, they don't, they, the body says, okay, well, I'm inside and it's warm, so let's get rid of this, and um, we'll, we'll grow in our summer coat, and then spend some time outside, and it goes, okay, well, now it's cold, so get rid of this, and we'll grow in our winter coat, and this happens all the time. Now, even if your dog only spends a few minutes outside, the body is still going to say, okay, get rid of this, grow in a winter coat, or get rid of this, grow in a summer, grow in a summer coat. Um, so what happens is your dog's fur is constantly falling out because the body doesn't have a reason for there to be fur because they're in a climate controlled area. Um, there's also some debate about the light cycle and how that affects um, your dog's coat. Now this I don't hold as much merit to um, because sun dogs will live indoors under full spectrum light and they still shed like crazy. Now some dogs are going to be worse with this than others. Now, my Basset Hound is a very seasonal shedder. She sheds very hard in the spring, very hard in the fall, and that's it. Um, my mom Bichon is what people would call a shed-free dog, which is not true. All dogs shed their fur, just like when you brush your hair, fur co her hair comes out of your head. Um, just because it, its hair does not stop growing doesn't mean that it will not eventually stop, or that it um, won't fall out and a new hair will grow in. Um, so there's there's that. And then you get your, your double-coated breeds. So like the dogs that's here today, uh, St. Bernard's, uh, Huskies, those big, thick double coats. And these are usually the people that find that their dog is always shedding. And it's because the body says, okay, I'm hot, so get rid of it and grow in a summer coat, but I'm still hot, so get rid of it, and grow in a summer coat, and this cycle just goes around and around in circles. There are things you can do about it, though. Even if your dog is not um, strictly an indoor, like if, if your dog is strictly an indoor dog, um, then you will find this more. But people who let their dogs spend a lot of time outside during the winter will notice that their dogs don't shed as much um, because the, the coat needs to stay on the dog because when I go back outside, it's cold. Um, same thing in the summer. If they spend a lot of time outside in the summer, Please don't cook your dog in the middle of the day if you live in the middle of Arizona. <laughs> That's not safe. Um, if you leave your dog out in the early morning and then in the evening um, when it's not as hot, again, the body will say, okay, I need some of this to keep the heat away from my body. It's a very common misconception that shaving a dog makes it cooler. Um, just like in the summer when, when it's hot outside, you don't take the insulation off your house. Uh, by taking the fur off of your dog, um, you will they get sunburned. They are more prone to heat stroke. Um, most dogs, um, thicker coated dogs, are actually better at controlling their client or their their internal body temperature because what they'll do is they'll find a cool spot on the ground and lie up against it, and their stomach um, doesn't have as thick fur, um, so they'll lie somewhere cool and then their fur keeps the sun off, off their back. So avoid sh shaving your dog. <laughs> um, I know that people will opt to shave their dog because they find that they shed a lot. It will help to keep the shedding down because the fur won't be as long, but it will not stop your dog from shedding. You're still going to find 
shedded fur, just it won't be as long, so it won't be as noticeable. So if you can get your dog outside more often, you will it won't shed as hard. If that's not possible, like I said, there's a few things you can do. Um, diet is a huge one. If your dog has a poor coat, it's going to continually shed the coat to get better stuff to grow in. And if you're not providing the body with the right amount of nutrients, then that stuff's never going to come. So it's just going to keep going around in a circle. Uh, fish oil is one of your best bets. I'm a big, big, big um, pusher of salmon oil for thick-coated dogs. Uh, you will find that their coat is, is much more lush and much nicer. Um, another one is, is feeding your dog a high-quality food, which kind of goes with the fish oil. By feeding your dog a high-quality food, their fur is nourished properly. Uh, it's not as brittle, and it's, it's just overall healthier. Now, if you are able to bring your dog to a groomer, um, they may or may not, depending on the groomer, um, provide what is called a shed less treatment if they use a furminator um, or some form of de shedding treatment. And essentially, what that does is um, it's an entire process. It's not one tool or one shampoo or you know just the horse driver. It's an entire process where all of the loose fur is taken out from under the coat. Now, depending on how often you brush your dog and how often this has you have this done, um, it can take a few hours or it can take an entire day. Uh, the dog that's here with me today could definitely have benefited from being here for another like three or four hours. She is very, very backed up. And what I mean by that is um, what will happen is, is the fur will shed, and if it's not all taken out of the coat, when the fur, the next batch of fur is shed, it sheds into the fur that's already there. So what happens is there's layers of shedded fur, and as you um, as you blow dry, if you take a force dryer or if you have a, a shop vac that has a reverse, you will see if you point it to a do to a really um, thick spot, you will. See, it's really cool to see this. It looks like it'll start as a pin and then it'll slowly, slowly get bigger. And what that is 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 at the middle. Let's let's say you have a black dog. Most black dogs, when they shed, they shed white. Um, so first you'll see a little pin of black, and then it, you'll see a white circle, and it'll get bigger and bigger and bigger. And that white circle is the fur that has collected in your dog's coat. Um, so if you have a thick-coated dog and you are able to grab a, um, a shop vac or any sort of vacuum, a high-powered vacuum that blows in a burst, don't use like an air compressor. It's, it's too um, pointed. Um, the airstream, mind you, that's what I mean. If the airstream is too focused, so you will hurt your dog. Um, and actually put it up to your dog and blow the fur out of it. You will see huge chunks of fur flying out of your dog's coat. Um, I always encourage people not to let their dog's coat get to that point because not only is it really uncomfortable for the dog to have it there and to have it removed, but it's going to cost you an arm and a leg to do it. If you keep up with your dog's coat and brush it regularly and bring them in regularly to have this undercoat removed, then it takes a heck of a lot less time. It's a lot less stressful on you, a lot less stressful on your groomer, and you will notice that the fur is not there anymore. So that's my little my little splurt about um, shedding. If you have any questions, com post them below. Post a comment. If you have yeah, if you have any questions, post them below. I won't repeat myself this one time, or I'll try not to. Um, and I hope you learned something. And I will be back next week.